Hey guys, welcome back to Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon. I changed up my emulation settings a little bit. I was researching this. Apparently this particular dungeon crashes a lot. So yeah, we're back in Ghost Tales Castle. I guess we gotta redo what I already did. I could cut it out, but I mean, we didn't really get too far last episode. But yeah, there's a... I'm using Project 64, which may be the first mistake. There's better N64 emulators, I think, that require more effort to set up, but they're more stable. Um... Well, there's a new issue. I tested this already. That door does not lock anymore. At least, I tested it once, and I was able to get through that door that the game crashed on, or soft-locked, rather. So I'm assuming it's gonna work, so that's why I'm recording this, and we're gonna do this dungeon this episode. But yeah, I was researching it, and this game has had a long history of emulation struggles. And I guess now it's pretty much okay, but this particular castle has an issue of crashing like that. And, uh... There's a feature on Project 64 called Protect Memory when you're in the recompiler, and that was unchecked. But I read something about if you enable it, it helps with this castle, so that's what I did, but I also... We have a new issue at hand, I don't know if your ears can detect it. In a game with such great music, it's actually in a way worse than the game crashing or soft locking to me. It's minor, but I think it might also not be due to the setting, the protect memory thing that I enabled. But if you notice, if I be quiet for a minute, the music kind of, it's choppy. It's all still there, but every now and then there's a hiccup in the audio. You can hear it go like... <laughs> Listen for it. There, there was a little one there. It's very subtle. Sometimes it's not there, right there. It kind of like farted a little bit to, while it was loading. But that is an issue with my newest laptop. I don't know what the deal is. It has two graphics processors in it. One is built more for gaming, and the other is just a general whatever. And, uh, for most things, I try to use the NVIDIA graphics card for gaming stuff. But whenever I connect it, what I'm doing right now, I'm playing this on the new laptop and using my old laptop that can't connect to the internet anymore to record. Because only my new laptop can run this game. If I can try to emulate it with the old one and it just crawls. So I have no choice. That's the only way I can emulate this and record it. And the only other option is to play on the actual console, but apparently the equipment I have to record from my console looks like crap with this game, and this game only. So, really I can't record from my console unless I find some kind of adapter that is just outstanding, which I currently don't have and don't know where to find. I mean, I know there's HDMI things for the N64, but... Alright, here we go, this is the door. In my test, with this option enabled, it did not soft lock, so let's see if we can get two in a row. Yes. Okay, here's the power switch. Now we can get the camera in the crane game. Another fortune doll. But yeah, this is my fear. I hope that the audio fixes itself, and there's only one thing I can think of if it gets really bad. I mean, you might not even notice it right now with me talking over top of it, but... I notice it very heavily, and it bothers me. Is that gonna work? There it is again, a little hiccup. It's very constant, too. That's the thing that's irritating. It's kind of like if... You hear it? It's like if you kept plugging your finger in your ear and pulling it out again. That's kind of what the sound is like. Oh, we got the wind-up camera! Yeah! Hold down the B button. It's a new weapon, too. So he's finally got something besides his little mallet. Yeah, it's really getting bad, that crackling noise. Ugh. We're just gonna have to live with it until I figure out how to solve that problem. But like I said, if I was able to play this 
on my old laptop without it crawling like crap, we would not have this audio issue. It is something with my new laptop and the fact that it ha- I don't know what's up with it, but I play this in full screen mode on the emulator, and then I just use an HDMI cable attached to my gra my capture card and plugged into the other PC for recording. That way I don't have to worry about resizing crap, it's just full screen to start, just capture the image and you're good. But for some reason this new laptop with the HDMI cable plugged in, it only works sometimes- like sometimes I plug it in, I load it up, and it doesn't capture the sound. So I have to close Project 64, try again, and just pray that on one of my attempts launching Project 64, it captures both video and audio. And that can take like 13 attempts sometimes. And I've tried changing all the sound control panel stuff and making it so that my capture card is the default communications device, the default everything, so that it knows when this thing launches, we can just play the game and have the sound. Well, here's the camera take pictures of ghosts, and that makes us able to hit them. And also, the music picked up. We're in phase two of the music. It's definitely very nice, nice and groovy. But yeah, I don't want to try to complain too much about the technical difficulties, but it is an issue, and I mean, the sound thing is minor, especially with me talking, it might be... Like, the commentary track is not gonna have that fart effect where it's like cutting out, like you're plugging your ear with your finger every two seconds. But the game does, so I don't know combined if it's gonna be that noticeable. I don't know which way to go first. Let's try this door first. Oh, okay. No, nope, that's the wrong button. I'm assuming this is a key. Corleone! Isn't Corleone a gangster of some kind? Yeah. That's a satisfying animation, the formation of a key like that. I don't know why it pleases me. But yeah, what I've noticed, like I tried to do Ocarina of Time randomizers and stuff, playing on the new laptop for with texture packs and everything. Just because it's such- it's so much more powerful than my old laptop that it should be able to do all kinds of crazy stuff and make these N64 games look better than ever. But... My guess... Is that after I launch Project 64 once, something happens. It must save settings somewhere in the configuration files, and then the sound is never the same. And my only solution is to uninstall everything related to Project 64, but save the save file for the game, and then reinstall it and hope that on the fresh first ever launch of it, that the sound will be back to normal. That's the only fix I can think of, and it's so backwards and stupid. But yeah, it's an Acer Aspire 5, which is not even really that good of a thing, but it's... In the affordable range, it's it's pretty good for what I need to do. But yeah, the HDMI port has done nothing but piss me off since I've got it. But it's Project 64, too, explicitly, because I have other full-screen things, and it's fine with that. But Project 64, when it goes into full-screen mode, sometimes it cuts out, so if you are connected to an HDMI cable, it could be full screen and be capturing and sound and video is good, but as soon as you go full screen with Project 64, it cuts out for a second to load everything, and then it comes back, and when it does that, it loses where it's supposed to capture the sound from. And I, I don't know, it's just very weird. I'm still trying to figure it out, and I'm also trying to... yeah. Going on planks, that's his holding Z move. But anyway, that's enough complaining about the technical difficulties. I'm just letting you know that's what I'm dealing with. So if that sound is noticeable and bothering you, it's bothering me more than it's bothering you. Trust me. And I'm... I don't know. I'm in the mode to record, though. I want to get a bunch of parts done right now. So I can't promise the next couple episodes are going to not have that sound thing. But I do want to... Uh, Try to troubleshoot this issue. 
Are we at the pool table? That's my favorite room of this whole thing. No, not yet. Oh, this is a crazy room. I mean, it's playable. It's Like I said, it's minor, but it's enough... Uh, I guess it's bothersome too because the audio, like I said, is this game's highlighting thing. We can still hear it pretty well. It really is almost more like an added sound over top of the sound. Like interference of some kind. But I don't know what's causing it. I'm not good at figuring that stuff out. And it could be a hardware issue, too, like the laptop itself is just stupid. I don't know. Or the HDMI port, specifically. But yeah, this is absolutely, without a doubt, the most flawless way that I can record this game. In the best picture quality, and everything. Because at the moment, I really can't capture from my console and expect it to be any good. It'd be terrible. I know some of you guys were saying... The one adapter I was using sporadically for Thousand Year Door was awful looking. And if you think that was bad, you should see what this game looks like with it. And the other one butchers this game. It like warps all the stuff on the- I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, I said we're done. We're at the jump rope room! This is the pool table room right through here, I think. No, not yet. It must be on the other side. We don't even need all this money, but there is a point later on in the game where we're gonna have to spend a lot. We gotta get our fortune told, and then really late in the game we gotta pay something like 600 Rio for a specific item. Alright, let's jump rope. Yeah. I think we're about to get the third tier music too. I think that's why this pool room is memorable. Billiards room. Oh no! Is that room? It must be. Oh, geez, that was that was something. Whatever that was. It's okay as long as it doesn't crash. Once we're done with this castle, I'm gonna turn off that protect memory option, and hopefully everything will just go back to how it was. Yeah. So taking a picture in this room reveals the poison swamp water. In case you didn't notice. Sorry, I'm not really talking about what's going on. I'm just kind of so. uh hung up on all the issues I've been having here. Oh no, the control stick died! Mid-jump as it does. Wait, maybe this is the third tier music already? I can't tell. No, this is still level two. I want to say it is the billiards room. Where you get the final phase of the music. I love that room so much. Eh, we should probably wait this out. Don't need the stamina dumplings. I did have Chinese food not too long ago. I was saying I was craving it. It was in that Ocarina of Time randomizer I did. Which I guess those are not really as popular as randomizers. Don't really get it. Kinda do, but I also don't. Is this it? No, not yet. I don't know, I still feel like I'm grabbing for straws, to be honest, but I'm having fun with this game, and that's all that matters. Yes! There we go, see the music pick up? I gotta do it in chronological order. Luckily, you don't have to aim, you just hit it, and it goes straight to one of the pockets. This is also I want to play pool right now. One of my closest friends in high school we used to hang out in his basement all the time, and he had a, a pool table. We used to do calculus homework on it and stuff. I mean, with a cover over top, obviously. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you can really hear the music going nuts now. <laughs> that was a satisfying thud noise. Eight ball, quarter pocket, yeah! And 
we've got. What key is this? Just another silver key? I guess this is our first castle where we're gonna get a diamond key. It only went up to gold in the first one. Stamina dumplings? Ghosts! It kinda has a Sonic vibe to it. It's like a mixture of a uh, Casino Night Zone and... What's the one in Sonic 3? It's another carnival-like... I don't remember what that zone's called. I didn't really play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 too much. It's all about Sonic 2. Diamond Key, yeah! I used to watch my cousin play Sonic the Hedgehog 1 over and over and over again. It's one of my favorite things about visiting my aunt's house as a kid. Starlight Zone, man, that's a great track. They're back. I kind of want to do it again, but... Just to, anytime I get quiet, I'm just enjoying the music. And yeah, there's a lot to enjoy. As we said, are we done? Is this the diamond key? I can't tell has to be. Yep, this is to the boss. What does this say? Is this a save? Use the wind-up camera to reveal the weak point. Yeah, this is a pretty easy boss. I don't know how you say his name. Nice carpet. Like crazy music. Surrender robot, Daryum. I, I don't know, Daryum Mino? Whatever, let's do the wind up camera. And there we go. Now, the speedrun I watched a year or so ago, they used Yay for this. And they said you could do a double hit sometimes while airborne that you're not technically supposed to be able to do or something. What? I'm not sure if that means Ye does more attack damage than anybody else. This is definitely an Abisamaru dungeon, though. I, I feel like I keep saying his name all kinds of wrong. Whatever, I'm doing this ahead of time, too, so it's not like I could... ...read any comments and correct... ...things. But I watched some guy reviewing... There's a whole channel dedicated to Goemon stuff and import games. And that dude, this, whatever channel it was that I, uh, Jimmy Hoppa, I think? You could tell he's really good with Japanese. His pronunciation was on point. It's weird, too, when you hear somebody speaking pretty generic white dude, and then all of a sudden they go full Japanese and... I don't know. Let's go back to this guy. He just doesn't feel right, because he's been the primary dude the whole dungeon. I do remember that being a thing. Ye has a dungeon that's basically all built around her. There we go! Son? Oh, it's auto controlling. I thought I was I was pressing in that direction for him to go. I tried to jump and it didn't work. Ooh. Miracle flower. Oh, who is this clown? Another one of these. Colin, boo hoo, he beat me up. I was only giving the kids a lesson in Peach Mountain dancing. What the? <laughs> Quit your chuckling. Colin, your plan did not work, did it? Who are you? Aha! I'm the leader of the Peach Mountain Shoguns. In the fresh spring breeze, sha la la, I come alive, la la. These beautiful visions appear before my eyes. Oh, he's still singing. Yes! I am, you know, I am the one they call Spring Breeze Dancing. What an intro. <laughs> hey, you, what's your face? Dancing something or whatever. What do you have up your sleeves? Up my sleeves? You mean, like, my armpits? We're not talking about that kind of sleeve. Pretty sharp, Antonio. You caught on to my joke. 
Antonio? Who's Antonio? Sir Dancing will choose a name for you himself if he feels it suits the person. You can't just... Colin, we're done with this place. We've got to prepare for our next plan. Return at once. Yes, sir. Bye for now, Fernandez. We shall meet again. Wait a minute. Who's Fernandez? He was looking at you when he said it. Remember, I will not let you get in the way of our great stage plan. What's a gorilla steak plan? That's not what I said. It's the great stage plan. Anyway, don't come to the Chukoku region, no matter what. Oh no, he's getting away again by spinning himself. <laughs> yes, but first, we must focus on getting to the Chukoku region. So yeah. Kind of flat, but silly humor. But I enjoy it. Well, there you go. We did the entire Ghost Toys Castle. The first bit was a repeat. So thanks for watching, you guys. And I'll try to get to the bottom of this stuff, but we'll see. Take care.